But we had to make a decision on what road we were going to go up. <clears throat> According to my map, 370C shows it, it went up towards Almagre Mountain. And it didn't look too bad on the map. But it turns out to be one of the roughest four-wheel drive roads in Colorado. And we ended up having to push our bikes up most of it. It took forever to go up this mountain. It was miserable. I'm riding across. Jared, want me to hold your bike? Yeah. Maybe I can get something in here we can just kind of walk halfway across. Oops, you move back. So get in there and stand on it. Alright, hurry. Good. What's that up there? A rock? Hike a bike. Thought you said this was the easy way. That was the hard way. Oh, my bad. Yeah, we just did the hard way because it's shorter. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Hey, uh, this works. 
What? You know what stinks? It was on the video, it doesn't look that steep. It looks flat because the camera's angled up. This wasn't in the brochure. So last year at the Vermont Express Trail, we learned a very vital part. Duck down. A very vital part of our uh, biking experience, hiking experience, boost of energy was some good old fashioned honey. So this year we got it in the from Burleson, good old Texas honey, Waxahachie. Uh, so it's getting us by so far. We'll see how it goes the rest of the way.
Okay, look, when you're out in the woods, things don't just stop, if you know what I mean. You still gotta poop and you still gotta pee. There's a proper way to do it. If you've got to evacuate yourself, you need to go at least 200 feet away from any road, trail, or stream. Dig a six inch deep hole and relieve yourself in the hole and cover it up. If you can't dig a hole, like if you're above the tree line, you really should have some type of Ziploc bag and pack it out. So to poop in nature, keep yourself clean, the technique I like to use is you take one pant leg all the way off, get your pants out of the way, just squat down, make it happen. Okay. Baby, baby wipes are a must. What were you doing over there? I pooped and I covered it over the rock. Oh. Oh, I was readjusting the pack on the back. Good catch. <laughs> I thought it was on that down there. <laughs> oh. What'd you do? I'm glad I only got one nut. <laughs> I didn't hit it.
I guess it's the right way. I need to this creek, this is the road. No problem, we go up and around. I'm videotaping. You're supposed to help. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Want to go on that one. All right. All right. No blood. Gotta do it again. Yep. Okay. Rider up. Rider up. It would have been fun if it was a watch down. You alright?
got it right here. Gold Camp. So, because we went so far on our trip, we couldn't carry all the water water that we needed for the whole trip. So I brought a water filter along with me, and there are plenty of streams out here. But you don't want to just drink out of the streams, especially if you're below the tree line, because animals. They go to the bathroom in the water or they die and they fall in the water, so the water is contaminated. Um, if it's a life or death situation, yes, drink the water without filtering it or putting your iodine tablets in it. But I carry a water filter with me, and you put it in to a stream, preferably running water, and uh, you filter it out, and the, the filter inside will filter out all the bad stuff that's in it and make it safe to drink. If you're above the tree line, it's a little bit safer to drink, but again, you never know what could be in water, especially if it's standing water. You never want to drink standing water unless it's filtered or, or you've used your iodine tablets. But, um, so, uh, just to be safe, I always carry a water filter and we use that.
Looks like dark gravel. to carry along with us whenever we do these is a little portable stove and uh, and water. That's all you need to put in there with this. Um, it's, it's easy, it's quick, pretty tasty. Well, for breakfast this morning, we had scrambled eggs with bacon. And then while we were out riding and, and hiking and climbing and stuff, we just ate snacks. We had, um, we had Nutri-Grain bars, honey, had little packets of oatmeal and stuff. But for uh, dinner tonight, we had a uh, lasagna with meat sauce, and that was pretty good. But they're all freeze-dried, and so you just reconstitute them with water, and then uh, eat them, and they're good to go. Uh -huh. 